There are a lot of meta promo cards right now. We have a lot of packs, including rivals. Let's open it up because I need a banger. And after that, I will continue investing and I need your help on my team and a potential EVO. Let's not make it longer than it is. Let's go to the packs. Well, I lied. I have a player pick first. To be fair, I think that was a good lie. I just don't know what to take here because that's a special card. I'm not sure if it's tradable or untradable, but I think we need to go for the rating regardless. But I'm pretty sure it's untradable. Otherwise, he would have been 27,000 coins. But we gotta go for the rating here. I think that's the smarter option. But we already got a promo player in the first player pick. Now we got a lot of packs to go. Yeah, let's claim rivals. And I think we have a player pick there that might be tradable. No, it's untradable. 25,000 coins. Thank you very much. What is this? 86 we already got two walk-ons so far that's a great start of this episode and always open your silver preview packs as well because this guy is around 1400 coins and this guy is around 1400 coins as well and he is from the bundesliga so we might need to check our silvers in the bundesliga as well because i think there is an SBC that made them go up but this one is worth buying because almost the entire amount of coins are already made back with those two players alone so let me list them real quick and then these two i checked they're like 300 coins this we can all quick sell and that's another one 1,000 coins. So we made profit on this pack. And by the way, if you pack a basic chemistry style, they are usually up quite a bit. They're around 1,000 coins at the moment. And you might wonder, why is that? Well, people like to buy fresh cards. Cards that no one has played with yet. And players who have a basic chemistry style usually indicates that they haven't been played with yet. And some people pay more for fresh cards. And this way you can kind of trick some people into it. I guess that's the main reason. It used to be way bigger than that. They used to go for like 4,000 coins in the past years. But I don't think 1,000 coins. Wow, this is the best thing in 15 packs. Like, we still have some big packs left, but for literally 15 packs, I got absolutely nothing. We got like 283 rated, and now we finally get 284 rated. Okay, the pack after a tradable 85, so it's maybe turning around a little bit. We're definitely gonna sell that, because we need coins. Ooh, 1,000 coins, we will take that. Is the Portuguese manager worth anything? She looks to be like 500 coins. We take that. EA just called me, by the way. This is a walkout. They felt bad for me. It might be some delay. Yeah, they just confirmed us the 82 times 2 that they meant is a walkout. Never mind, I don't have contact with EA. They don't like me. <laughs> Tradable Mega Pack. Can that be something good? The answer is no. Oh, I mean, the answer is yes, we get an inform. And there are currently around 12,000 coins. And I'm kind of doubting to buy a few at their minimum price and have them in the club. Because last year during Black Friday, they went up to like 40, 50,000 coins. Not saying it's going to happen again because EA is smart. But honestly, for almost the minimum price, it doesn't harm to buy a few and have them in your club. And then even lazy list them to make some profit towards that time. And at that moment, maybe they go up a lot and we make a lot of profit. So I'm going to send them to the club for now. We might do that this week. Let's do another trade will mega pack then can't get lucky every time unless there's a shadow in it there is even though they're not that expensive anymore i think we sent it to the club right now but we could also lazy sell it but i still got to show you everything that's on the transfer list for now because we have a lot of things that have been sold we got two tradable team of the week packs we saved them from last time that's not a walkout but keen might be worth something no okay then we just send him to the club and the other one is it a walkout please nope i almost never get an inform walkout i don't know about you guys we got a tradable 75 times 10 i don't expect anything from this and we do not get a walkout but we'll take the 84 and 83 rated oh we are full here but we do have a shadow that we can send to the club let me quickly show you what is on the transfer list like this is everything we sold so far i forgot to remove the bastoni from last time but we did sell our fairland mendy we used him last week we sold him for 59,000. he dropped quite in price but i bought him back now so he's already in the club and i think i bought him for like 50,000, something like that and i'm like we gotta rock with him in the team but yeah we have everything here all the dupe silvers and some silver that actually sold for more this one 2700 1300 a stadium for 2200 so we have quite a lot of things that sold which is very nice but let's get rid of that we still have some things here that we just listed but back to the packs 83 plus and it's a walkout striker german I feel like it's always the same walkouts. Even though I was expecting pop, at least it's a walkout, you know? <laughs> I gotta be happy with it. Let's try a tradable 84 plus right now. Okay, and then it's not a walkout. When it's about coins, it's bad. <laughs> That's like the third time I packed him this episode already. I don't think I showed you them all, but this is the third time. 50k pack, untradable. 
Don't even know where I got it from, but it is a walkout. Sent it back German. That's ta. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's always the same ones. But we will take a walkout out of a 50k pack because they're usually very bad. Another 82 times 5 and then we go to the bigger packs. This is a walkout though. Center mid. Spanish. La, ah, La Liga. I wanted to see the female La Liga. It would have been so perfect. I guess we'll take it. It's a walkout. Untradeable 100k pack. Which doesn't give a walkout. Don't tell me it's the Licht again. I think it is. Another one. That's number four. And then we got a 75 times 25, an 84 times 3, and an 85 combo upgrade. I don't think we're going to get a walkout from the 75 times 25, but we are getting an inform. It's just not a walkout. It is an 83 as best player out of the 75 times 25. But I'll take an untradeable team of the week. It's a nice 12,000 coins. This one has a guaranteed 85 or higher. I will go for the 84 times 3 because I expected the lift here. It's not a walkout. The look like i don't know who oh nico williams is good oh never mind <laughs> i forgot that gold players weren't worth much anymore i guess it's nice to have in a club 85 plus no special card no walkout we get sane no walkout out of it that is crazy by the way guys a question should i do the crafting upgrade like i made a video about it i will link it at the end of this video where i did this one on my main account but should we do it on this account as well it will take a lot of our gold players all of our gold players and i don't know if we can finish it without spending money on it and i'm not gonna lie the objective packs aren't really looking great so please let me know in the comments if you want me to do this and then i'll make sure in the coming episodes i will make sure i do this one but i'm not really sure if it's gonna be worth it this the Centurion upgrade pack doesn't seem worth it, but we are going to do it today. I'm going to make the teams real quick, open a pack, then we go to the investments, what we should do, and then I need your help on my team and a potential Evo. Okay, there we go. The 100 mixed player pack, 20 rare gold players. While the SPC is around 50,000 coins, we were able to do it completely untradeable, so sometimes you got to take a risk. Let's see what we're getting. It's not a special card. It is a walkout, though. That's good. Center back, Brazilian Premier League. You know what, Gabriel, we will take because look what we're wearing. That's just perfect, you know, but is it usable? Not really. So it could be worse. Maybe there is an inform. OK, there's no inform. We do have a Rafinha, which is not worth anything anymore. But we have a lot of plays in the club. Preferably, I don't want bronze rares and silver rares in my club untradeable. So we will have to trade them in into certain type of SBCs and always use these first because this perfectly ties in into our investment. And that is buying silvers and getting bronzes in the club as an investment throughout the entire year. But we're getting close to black friday and then it's even more important because if you follow this series or just follow my youtube channel or my twitch in general or even my discord you know that every year i invest in silvers and bronzes and the only thing you need to do is bid on silver rares bid on silver commons and open bronze packs and then in the end maybe bid on some bronze rares that's all you need to do send them to your club and whenever sbcs come out some of them go up in price if we take the track stars challenge one you can see that the player quality is minimum silver and you only need one gold in this one but the reason i'm saying this again is because we're getting close to black friday it's at the end of this month and during black friday we have lightning rounds with a lot of packs but sometimes we also have flash sbcs and a flash sbc is an sbc like this only available for a certain amount of hours and what happens when it's only there for a certain amount of hours people panic people want to do it people are going to go to fudbin going to find the easiest way to build the teams and we will have those players and make a lot of coins so black friday is going to be super important for us for our investment so in the coming two weeks i'm going to invest further into to it so we also gotta take a look at the team and see what we should sell so we have more coins to invest but i just want to remind you guys if you haven't done it yet and you have some coins left at least fifty thousand coins or preferably more than that every day bid on a few silver plays open a few bronze packs send them to your club and you will be ready for black friday but another thing that i also told you earlier in this video is informs they are currently around twelve thousand coins which is not the bare minimum they're slightly up but you take a maximum risk of two thousand coins because you can quick sell them for around ten thousand coins and you can always lazy sell them they will always go to a certain price and last year informs went to the moon during black friday because there were a lot of sbcs that required team of the weeks and they just went crazy they went to like 40 or 50 000 coins i think i will have something on the screen right now so you can see it but because we know that because it happened last time a lot of traders a lot of discord groups patreon groups all that kind of stuff will be saying oh buy informs they might go up so it is slightly a risk it might be the case that ea is like okay we know what they're gonna do let's make sure they won't make money but it is a shout if you have a lot of coins buy the 
cheap informs of every team of the week just put one of them in your club forget about them and whenever they go up in price you can make a lot of profit or if you don't use your transfer list that much all those investments lazy list them what i'm doing right here is 17,000 coins that's a fair price right now if i see that they go to like 14 15,000 coins i might up it to like 18 or 19,000 coins because it's more like an investment but i still want to have the potential sale right now that i can buy them back for way cheaper that's in my opinion what you should always do with your investments always lazy list them if you have the space for it in your transfer list but yeah those are two things that could really make you a lot of profit during black friday but there's one more section in this video and that is my team and a potential evo and i need your guys help last week we played with this team and the week before that pretty much the same team as well it is decent but we need upgrades and currently a lot of coins are in bear comp he's around 280,000 coins right now even though we did buy him for like 400,000, so we will lose a lot of coins anyways but should i sell him because with his coins we could either invest a lot or we can maybe find some upgrades even though the team looks quite decent and i don't know really where to start to upgrade it i feel like there need to be changes and i did like i said buy a fair on mendy for 55,000. did do the playoffs with it we qualified so we have him tradable and we have bear come tradable all the other ones are untradable but what do you want me to do with the team should i sell them and go fully untradable should i sell them and buy someone back or should i keep them let me know because i'm a little bit lost at the moment i'm gonna probably try this weekend with this team again see where the weak points are also what i did is i did an evolution on her to give her power shot plus the evolution was expiring it was free i was like why not give a team of the week that is quite decent power shot plus and i completely didn't realize that the team of the week would be gone so we could have used it as a team of the week in an SBC, but now we are kind of stuck with her and it's also not this one, by the way, but I wanted to do this one because there were some Evos expiring. And honestly, this looks like a very good card. It's a nice basic card for now. Like, he's decent, he's good. Around the same as Hamp, I would say, in, in terms of how good he will be. But for potential future Evos, this could be a really good one. It was free as well. I just didn't want to let the Evos go to waste. And honestly, Trivella Plus could go hard. But the Evo I'm talking about is the Ballon d'Or winner, Rodri. It's 80,000 coins, and I didn't want to spend coins on Evolutions until we have Henri. But look what we can do we have a pad we put him in and he does turn into this card he looks insane he has a tiki taka plus he has good play styles all over the board so attacking dribbling defending he has holding plus plus is this worth eighty thousand coins guys because i feel like it is especially because he can also play as a striker not that we want him as a striker but for future evos he fits strike evolutions and then we can up his shooting more and he's gonna be super super all around and obviously he fits in the french team but he will also fit in the monaco team because he played like one game for them but he already feels good in game so i feel like we might need to spend eighty thousand coins on him but let me know what you think because obviously we don't want to spend fc points because this is an rtg i don't want to have an unfair advantage in comparison to you guys if you're not spending money so i want to keep it that way should i spend eighty thousand coins on this because this looks like a card that can play for a very long time in the team so that is right now the question i have for you hopefully you enjoyed the episode though next episode will be champs and hopefully we're gonna get a better result than last time i'm gonna try my best to play good and get some good rewards from it because we are kind of slacking with coins at the moment because if we would sell everything right now we're around 500 or 550 thousand coins and that is way too far away from Henri. but of course we also have investments and we will invest even more sorry for this long outro you're probably already gone but i'll be gone now as well thank you for watching thanks for coming man thank you really appreciate right. it